Hey, hey, careful with that, sweet. today Jessica good how are you I'm just fine so this is songs and stories of Shiloh and I have a few questions here for Herb so let's start with the first question how did you come to Shiloh Community Church well I was brought up in the Evangelical Church which was roughly two miles to the west of here towards 21 highway and when the uh, United Church uh, took over the Evangelical Churches in Canada then uh, we decided we'd come up here to the UB Church because at that time we were all a uh, farming community and we did do different functions back and forth together, especially our young people's. We had uh, a young people's group it called it Christian Endeavor. And uh, actually at one time we had uh, Senior Christian Endeavor, Junior Christian Endeavor, and Intermediate Christian Endeavor. Wow, were you a part of all three of those? Kind of, we started off kind of as a junior, but then uh, being the, some of the older ones, and we w slid into the senior fairly quickly, yeah. which was just the uh, the older uh, children, and the uh, some of them were going. There was two or three would be going to high school already, and from there down, and then the uh, the other two classes were below that, then the other two grades are. Well, uh, so you've been at Shiloh for a while, then. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, I was. Uh, well, ever, we were, came here in 67, 68. Mm -hmm. This part of the back that's back against me is part of the old evangelical church. Yes, this part here. Yeah. <laughs> so you're originally from where? I was born on the 6th of Saugeen in per at Perdelgan, which is uh, sometime modern day known as the CAW Road. CAW Road. Yeah. Okay. And when did you first become a Christian? I can't remember the exact year, but the Evangelical Church had a, uh, a camp. It was uh, like a tabernacle built in the middle of a big maple bush. Mm -hmm. And they used to have uh, like camp meetings there all summer. Okay. And then special meetings on special speaker would come in on a Sunday evening and talk. And... Uh, it was dur during one of those times. It would hold quite a few people. I would say maybe up to maybe 400 people. And uh, mm -hmm. at that time, there was just sawdust on the floor. <laughs> but they had church pews that you yeah. get uh, from uh, other churches. So, uh, About how old were you, would you say? I would say I might have been somewhere around the 12, 13 category. Okay. Yeah. So fairly young. Then. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember saying a prayer or just? A change in your heart, something. Oh like yeah, that. and then after that, it just uh, that made the, the uh, young people's group that much more important to you too, because yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, we all were from. Well, the young people's group all was either from this church or from the evangelical church, mm -hmm. so we were all church-based anyway. So, uh, and we did different things together, and uh, mm -hmm. then when we joined here. That made it that much easier to do things together. Yeah. But one of the big events that we did as a young people's group, we used to have a Good Friday breakfast here at the church. Okay. So uh, that was an early rise for Friday morning. Yes, it would be. And uh, then, uh, oh, we would have maybe two settings in the in the main basement. Okay. So uh, the neighbors around different churches came, and uh, we'd have a good turnout for that. Oh, and then we'd really always nice. have a special service after the breakfast. Yeah, Good Friday service. Yeah, Good Friday service, yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> um, what would be a very memorable experience for you in your walk with God? Well, I, I can't just say anything particular. Uh, being a farmer, and of course then you've got no uh, safety supervisors around or anything, so if it's going to happen, you've got to do it, whether it's... Uh, Sometimes it's not always the safest, but uh, it you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, and you just trust the Lord. That he well, he's he's protected me uh, all through my life. I've uh, had no broken bones. Wow, that's great. Oh, I've, I've had a few 
few scars, but no broken bones. <laughs> yes, and you're a ripe age now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you share a memory from your time at Shiloh? You've shared a few already, but can you share another one? Uh, I guess the, the, the breakfast was the biggest thing as a group of young people because mm -hmm. basically our, our parents didn't have anything to do with that. That was strictly done by young people. Okay. Like we had to uh, make up the grocery list and purchase it and uh, we'd have uh, uh, boiled eggs. Boiled eggs? Boiled eggs. What about and, pancakes? <laughs> yes, there was pancakes mm -hmm. and, uh, and sausage. That sounds great. Yeah, and, and pure maple syrup. Oh, always. That's always, yes. <laughs> I got myself some of that yeah, this week so, already. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, we did have, out of that young people's group, uh, it was more come out of the uh, intermediate group possibly, but we did have a little little orchestra here at the uh, church for a number of years. An orchestra? Yeah, there yeah. was a uh, 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 son-in-law played the trombone and there was... Uh, some re, uh, clarinet players. Wow, uh, that was one, so cool. One lady played the accordion. Okay. And uh, so, and they did take part in some functions at other churches too, so. Uh, okay, so a traveling orchestra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there, cool. uh, there was a young, uh, one time we had a large Sunday school here. If you, we were having a, you know, maybe a little bit of a special service of some kind. You'd have to get here early or you might not get a place to sit. People were standing out the doors, yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, we, it's been quite a few years since we've experienced that. Yeah, maybe again someday. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can always trust the Lord that that's going to happen. But. Yes, but right now we're really happy with yeah. who we have anyway. <laughs> Is there a worship song that you would like to share as well as maybe some reasons why you like it? I guess, uh, well, I like all the old hymns because a lot of them were wrote, the uh, people that wrote them had an experience in life that they were expressing through the, uh, the hymns. Yeah. Uh, one particularly is Amazing Grace. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, That's a good song. Yeah, that, I always like that. Uh, and it always, now as much as my background is, is German, but uh, it always sounded pretty nice with bagpipes a distance away. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I've heard a version of it, bagpipes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have to look one up. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing. And one more question. Yeah. Who would you like to nominate for the next Songs and Stories? Well, uh, we'll see if uh, Chris Lewick would be interested in doing an interview. Chris Lewick. Yeah. All right. We'll be knocking on his door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Herb. You're welcome, and have a good day. And uh, we're uh, looking forward to uh, great things happening here at Shiloh again. Yes, I agree. It's yeah. a beautiful church Yeah. with lots of rich history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and you haven't heard it all yet. No, I no. haven't. <laughs> I'm learning little by little as yeah. we go through. It's easy to remember that way. This series, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take care. Okay, thank you.